This is Magic Revealed with the King of Spades. Today I'm going to teach you the Joker catch. But first, I'm going to show you what it looks like. So, fan out the cards to the audience. Pick any card. Alright, we'll say this one for today. Don't know what it is. I'm going to set that here on the table for now. Now, I'm going to cut the deck. Alright. And... Yeah. Alright, now I'm going to cut the deck. Alright, take the top half. But before I complete that, I'm going to ask my audience member to place the card right there. Alright. Now, for good measure, I'm going to cut the deck again. I'm going to take two helpers, these two jokers. My two helpers are going to sift through the deck, and they're going to draw out the card. Now, what we have here is not only the chosen card, but the Queen of Diamonds. How does this trick work? Well, it's very simple. First, you have your audience choose a card. For our purposes, we'll say it's this one, the Two of Clubs. All right, kind of set that on the table. And then, what you're going to do is you're going to ask the audience to cut the deck at any point. I don't have an audience, so I just did it myself. However, it's a much more powerful trick if you ask the audience to cut the deck for you. Once the deck has been cut, take this that was on top, put it on bottom. Take the bottom ones and ask your audience member to put their card, in this case the two of clubs, right there like that. You then place this right there. You say, for good measure, I'm going to cut the deck again. You put it there. Thus, the result is that the two of clubs is on bottom. Well, how did this happen from that point? Well, when you first have cut the deck and you put the cut deck into your hands, you've got this little ridge right there. It doesn't need to be more than a couple of millimeters, but once you have that, you just grip it and it looks to the audience like there is an even one. You just take it and you do that. Thus, you maneuver the two of clubs down to the bottom. From there, you are able to see what it is and make your dramatic reveal. The way I like to do this is I pull out two jokers. All right, got two jokers. They're going to draw out the cards. So you take your cards, your jokers, and you place them like that. All right, staggered. Now, your finger positioning is important. You've got to have this one right there on that card. Not over here, not the, on this card. On the back, you've got a similar deal. One card is on the bottom card, and one card is on the joker. All right? Now, you toss the deck very lightly. See, and now we've got a card in between our two jokers. Because you're able to look at it whenever you're placing the jokers, no. all right, putting the joker, getting it aligned right, oh, what's that on bottom? Tooths. In this case, eight of spades, but earlier it was the two of clubs. And then, from there, you know what this card is, and so you say, Ah, my jokers have caught your card. It is not only your card, but it is the two of clubs. And so it is. Now, you don't always have to add this flourish of telling them what it is, but it really adds to the effect, I find. When tossing the deck, you have to be careful. If you grip it too tight, you're going to end up getting not only more cards than you wanted, right there, so you got three cards in between my jokers, but you also have the possibility of dropping the deck all over the place, which ruins all the buildup. Additionally, you worry about the same thing if you, if you throw it too light. Now, important finger positioning like this, see? My middle finger on the bottom, my pointer finger on the joker, and then my thumb on the top joker. Don't use any other fingers and don't touch any other cards. You just like toss. With practice, you can get better and better at this, and you can even throw it farther and farther. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please like or even consider subscribing. Um, I'd be very grateful for either. If you have anything you'd like to say, leave a comment down below. And check out my other vids. Thanks for watching.